So, so you've been been doing this for about a year then, huh? Yeah, we've been doing it for a year. Uh, being trained by the CHPC and getting prepared for this competition. So, um, so you all are based out of out of where in South Africa? Uh, Cape Town. We're all from Cape Town. Uh, all right. Four of us are from the University of the Western Cape. Two from the University of Stellenbosch. So, and we were brought together by the CHPC and selected regional rounds for the competition. Now, of course, I have a, a personal interest in this. Um, why did you all choose Centos? It's, uh, I guess a uh, uh, funnier second would be all the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it happened to be that, it, this, of course, it's a very popular platform for HPC, and it's, it's often stable versions of big packages um, in the young, 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 young repo. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, it, it, and also, often when we, um, the, like if you down it, it's, let's say the drivers of NVIDIA or a lot of the binary distributions of things which you can't configure yourself often have centers as one of the default things on the, if you click the download button. So if you pick a, 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 a rather esoteric distro, you might not have that available to you. So I mentioned to a few people that, that you all are running CentOS, and pretty much everyone said, why not Ubuntu? Because it comes from South Africa, right? But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's a uh, desktop operating system. Yeah. Ubuntu is desktop. But, you know, one of the clusters over there, they're running Ubuntu. I noticed that earlier. So. Uh, CentOS is uh, made to, uh, for a server environment, yeah. and uh, Ubuntu is for a desktop. So. Ask that question to rather maybe consider if they do want the Ubuntu environment to rather run Debian because that's more, more yeah, server oriented that would take more than, sense. than canonical product. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck. I hope you all do really well in the contest. Um, what, what kind of workloads do you have to run when you're uh, in, in the for the contest itself? Well, um, there are different uh, benchmarks. We have six benchmarks that we have to run. HPL and that is one of the competitions. The competition has three uh, different um, prizes. The one is favorite, fan favorite team, the other one is overall winner, and the last one is the HP, uh, uh, HPL, the base link back school. So that's HPL. We didn't really focus on that one because we want to go for the overall winner. The overall winner has, six, uh, it has five benchmarks that it comes to consider. Uh, HPCC, uh, TensorFlow with Keras, where we um, have a capture, we have to, um, what's it called? We have to recognize the characters in the, in yeah, the capture, so very often on a website you have to register for something to prevent automation of someone creating a thousand accounts and you know, you're using that to, you know, vote for something or so forth. Um, yeah, it's, it's of course a hard problem for a computer to recognize uh, things in an image because it's just a big matrix of numbers. And of course for us humans it's naturally just part of our lives, but it's of course a easy problem for a computer. And this is why these new advances in convolutional neural networks actually makes it fairly easy to recognize it. And in this, this is only the, the only challenge where performance isn't as big as thing. You know, I mean, runtime performance where they, you know, you, they check the, how many gigaflops uh, uh, you run, you know, how many seconds it took. But rather, it's about how accurately you can predict things. So you, you, we, we ended up creating our own uh, network, like of layers. You, you have to make your own design in this one, unlike many of the other uh, benchmarks. And then the rest of the benchmarks were Phoenix and Mini DFT, and then there are secret applications, three of them that we have to do on the day, they give us on the day, and we have to install them, run them. The one we have now is Labs, and there are another two tomorrow that we don't know yet. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thanks a lot.